Good morning, Grade 7! How are you today? I hope you are doing well. Before we start our discussion for this morning, may I call on Jasmine to please lead the prayer? Amen. Hello, hello, hello! I am Teacher Shaira Pitak Bobo, one of the interns of the University of Mindanao, taking up Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in English, and I will be your teacher for this morning. Okay, class, so before we proceed to our discussion for this morning, I want to impose first our online classroom rules. You only need to remember the L O V E. L stands for listen carefully. O is to observe properly. V is to visualize your ideas. And E is to enjoy the discussion. By the way, class, for your attendance, type in your full name in the chat box. And if you can turn on your cam, it will be highly appreciated. Okay, class, so let's have a review first. As you can remember last meeting, I have discussed about bringing self-discipline through a parable. Again, a parable is... Okay, Ezekiel, you raise your hand. Okay, very good. Parable is a didactic story in prose or verse which illustrates one or more instruction lessons or principles. Okay, class, so let's have an activity. For activity number one, entitled Guess Me, you only need to identify what Filipino value or culture does the picture depicts. Of course, you need to choose the correct answer and for your answers, you can utilize the chat box and I want you to participate since your participation will be graded. Okay, so for number one, what do you think is the answer? I will give you five seconds. Okay, very good. The correct answer is letter A, hospitality. Okay, so for number three, Two, what do you think is the answer? Okay, so I can see most of your answers are letter A. So that's correct. The answer is letter A, getting along with others. Okay, so for number three, what do you think? You can see a house, you can see people. Mm-hmm. Okay, A, B. D. Okay, so the correct answer is letter A, Bayanihan. Okay, so for number four, what do you think is the answer? You can see a woman, an old woman. Mm -hmm. Letter C. Okay, letter D. Your answers are quite different from each other. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the correct answer is letter D, that of gratitude. Okay, so for number five, what do you think is the answer, class? Mm -hmm. I can see uh, letter A, letter C, letter D, letter B. Mm -hmm. So your answers are quite different from your classmates. Okay, so what do you think is the correct answer? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the correct answer, class, is letter D, getting along with each other's. Okay, so the last item, what do you think is the answer? So, as you can see, there is a child, naga bless siya sa iyang, I think it's her Lola. Mm -hmm. I can see A, C, or D. So, what do you think is the correct answer? Okay, so the correct answer is letter D, kissing the hands of the elders. Okay, class, so based on our activity this morning, what have you noticed with the words generated during the activity? What were the words all about? Or what insights have you gained during the activity? How do these words relate with each other? Okay, so right now, class, do you have an idea what will be our topic for this morning? Okay, so you can utilize the chat box for your answers. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, that's a good answer. So our topic for this morning is all about best traits of Filipino in the world. Okay, I have a question class. What traits do you have? No makaana yun sila ba nga? Ay, Filipino yun na siya kay kuan siya. Ay, kuan siya. In ani siya. Mm -hmm. You can utilize the chat box for your answers. Okay, so friendly. Oh, that's a good answer, Jasmine. Mm -hmm. Hospitable. Ah, oh, yeah, that's that's right, Ezekiel. Oh, thank you for your answers. Our objectives for today's lesson is, at the end of the lesson, the students will be able to, first, better appreciate our literary heritage. Second is to trace the rich heritage of ideas handed down to us from our forefathers. And the last one is to understand ourselves better and take pride in being a Filipino. Okay, so the first trait that we are going to discuss this morning is hospitality or being hospitable. Anyone wants to read the definition of what is hospitality? Okay, yes, Mark. Okay, thank you for that. Hospitality, it is when visitors pay the visit to a friend's house and they offer them with a very warm welcome. Do you know, class, that it is also a trademark of Filipino? Trademark yun na to ang pagiging hospitable. Basta Pinoy, hospitable yan. It is a part of the Filipino culture is to always treat our guests warmly. Whether they are foreigners, we usually comment about right after they have visited the Philippines. Not because kay lami ato mga delicacies diri, lami ato mga food, or nindiki ato mga tourist spot. It's because hospitable kayo ang mga Pinoy. Diba, another example, pag ganit guys, pag naagan i-bisita, paunahon pagpakaon ng bisita bago ang mga bata, diba? Kay inana ko, hospitable ang mga Pinoy. Another example is, pag naay bisita, dira na ipagawas ang mga nindot ka, mga utensils, mga plato, mga kutsara, mga silver-silver. Kay mas importante jud nga hat, um, hatagan jud o nindot nga mga gamit ang mga, ang mga guest. Inana jud ka, hospitable ang Pilipino. Okay, so the second trait is strong family ties. Jasmine, I want you to read the definition of strong family ties. Okay, thank you for that. Strong family ties. Filipinos value their family so much that they tend to talk, especially in family gatherings. Filipinos are known for having strong and close family ties. They place high regard and put importance on their family before anything else. So, pamilya yun una before ang uban. They work all day and do all they can to feed and provide for their family. In ana ang Pinoy, in ana ka strong ang bond sa family sa Pinoy yun. Okay, so the third trait is bayanihan. Ezekiel, I want you to read the definition of bayanihan. Okay, thank you for that. Bayanihan, it literally means being in Bayan, which refers the spirit of communal unity work and cooperation to achieve a particular goal. It is also an enduring positive Filipino values that inspire the community to help fellow countrymen in form of need without expecting anything in return. It also means that we are mutually helping each other. Okay, so another trait is utang na loob. I believe plus that this term is familiar na sa inyo since common naman yun siya no, utang na loob. Utang na loob, it is an obligation to appropriately repay a person who has done one favor. The favors which elicit the Filipino sense of utang na loob are typically those whose values are impossible to quantify or there is a quantifiable value involved. Involves a deeply personal, intentional dimension. Okay, so another example, guys, is, for example, di pa eskwela hagtarong sa inyong mama, and you know that um, applicable man siya sa tanang level sa family, no? Pero specific na ko siya sa mga low-income family. Di ba pag ipatarong ka eskwela, and ka nang halos kayod kalabaw na kayo imong mama papa so expected jud ka nga ibalik ni mo na siya in return nga magtaro ka eskwela nga makagraduate ka since naa kay utang na loob sa imong papa ug mama nga gipa eskwela ka even though nga 
lisod kayo ang kinabuhi. Another example is that, di ba, pag lihatagan ka og papel sa imuhang classmates, so the next day, if walay papel imong classmates, like, naakay sense of gratitude na, ay, Kaya na i-repay na ko ni siya, kaya nihatag ba siya papel at ni aging adlaw, so muhatag po po papel sa iyakarod, kaya siya naman po nang walay papel. Or, makarelate yung tanang students, I don't know, kay example, wala ka nag-study sa science, and gipasundog kasi mong best friend, tapos siya wala nag-study sa math. So, naakay sense of gratitude na i-repay ni mo ang iyahang goodness na gipakapi ka niya sa science, so gipakapi po di mo siya sa Mat, like na siya vice versa, vice versa na benefits. Okay, so this is the second to the last trait, getting along with others or pakikisama. Okay, so Jane, I want you to read the definition of pakikisama. Okay, thank you for that. Getting along with others, it entails a genuine intrinsic appreciation of togetherness or in the simplest sense, it means getting along with others. The prevalence of pakikisama is one of the reasons that the Philippines is seen as such a friendly country. Diba makaanya tanong nga, bisag asa ta ibutang or bisan asa man ta muadto, bisag sa Europe pa na, sa China pa na, sa Korea pa na, kay how jud makisama ang mga Pinoy? Okay, so this is the last trait class, kissing the hands of elders, so in other terms, pwede siya pagmamano. It is an honoring gesture used in Filipino culture performed as a sign of respect to elders and as a way of requesting a blessing from the elder. So, plus, kinsa pa may nag-bless diri sa ilang mama, papa, lolo, or lola. Okay, very good, class. Napa din nag-bless, no? Kay, ang uban ka ron kay into kissing naman sila sa chicks sa ilang mama or sa ilang papa. So, in traditional good class is Bless yun siya. Diba pag muabot ka or bago ka mo lakaw, mag-bless ka sa mga magpapa or sa mga lolo or lola, sa mga auntie o auntie, basta sa mga elders. Okay, so class, I have here a story about the legend of the pineapple. It is a Philippine folk tale on how the pineapple came to be. I believe that you are already familiar with this story, right? Okay, so I will only give the summary of the story. Okay, so the story of Pina is a folk tale about a young girl named Pina. She was without a doubt the most spoiled child her village had ever seen. So bad numun yung siya na pagkabata, no? When her mother grew ill, Pina could not be bothered to help, even though her mother only asked her to boil some rice. Bad numun na gani, di pa dyan masugo, nyabi dyan. Pina claimed she couldn't find the ladder. Pina disappeared and the neighbors had to help her get well. Her mother searched for Pina but couldn't find her. Finally, her mother found a large round fruit growing a thousand unseeing eyes. Her mother took the seeds from the fruit and grew a lot of them, then gave them to the people in the village. This was the first and only generous thing Pina had ever done for anyone else. Grabe no, nagsakit magod na iyang mama, tapos siya ay palutoon na iyang mama ba, tapos lugaw ra pa jud. So, dali education lutoon no. Tapos wala siya nagluto since wala daw niya nakitaan ang luwag. So, na-curse niya, na, na siya sa iyang mama ba, nga ginan magod na siya na kanang unta, matubuan, kagdaghan kay mga mata sa imuhang si mong body kay para lagi daw dili na siya maglisod o pangita sa unsay ipapangita si yang mama. Then, then just look at the picture of pineapple. Diba, dagan ka siya mata. And that's how Pina came to be. Okay, class. So, before we proceed to activity number two, I have two questions. So, you can utilize the chat box for your answers. Dali, ira ni siya. What household chores do you take part at home as a way of helping your parents? Either nagahugas pa plato, nagalaba, nagasilhin, what? You can utilize the chat box for your answers. Okay, so nagahugas ba siya plato? Very good. Ano, Jude? Nagasilhik, nagalaba, wow. Okay, so buutan kay mga grade 7, no? Number 2 question is, 
is it important to help them in doing this task at home? Okay, yes. So most of your answers are yes. So thank you for that. So for activity number two. Okay, so this is the instruction. As you walk through the final lesson, unlock the message of the quotation using the icon guides below. Okay, so basically, I unlock ng judi mo ang message class. So naman siya yung mga icons, icons dili sa iba ba nga naga corresponds. Example, kaning A, tapos marasyag triangle. Okay, so after you have unlocked the message, write a one paragraph message to yourself on how to become the better version of yourself as a Filipino and as a student. Okay, so I will give you 7 to 10 minutes to do that since um, we have plenty of times pa naman. Okay, so after 10 minutes is we will be doing an oral recitation. Okay, so I will going to call like 3 to 5 person. So you only need to share your answers to the class, okay? Okay, so good job grade 7. Lindot yung kayo yung mga answers, no? So let's give ourselves a round of applause. Okay, so for your asynchronous task, so this is the instruction. Okay, so these are the question plus. Number one, what worldwide problem faced by the people today? Number two, how will people solve this problem? What Filipino traits are needed to help improve the situation? And number three, what small act will you do to contribute to the solution of this problem? Just send it to my email class. The deadline will be on April 22, 2022 at 11.59pm. A4, the font size is 12, the font name is Arial, and justify it. So, um, it can be paragraph form or bullet form, your choice. Okay, class, so that sums up our discussion for this morning. Are there any questions, clarifications, or violent reactions? Okay, so if there's none, thank you and God bless grade 7. Once again, I am teacher Shaira Pitak Bobo from the University of Mindanao. Bye, class!